So I have a question from William. The main question is actually you'd like to see demonstration for plugging Bloodhound into Blackbird <clears throat> and doing a back test here. And the example he's, he has is he'd like to see some uh, some example signals of being uh, generating a long signal when above the VWAP and a short signal if below the VWAP uh, for Bloodhound here. Yeah, so uh, let's see. I'll start us off with that there. Okay, so um, <clears throat> there we go. There's a VWAP on the chart. Um, and uh, yeah, so simply the, you know, the example would be um, generating, you know, a long signal when, um, I guess we'll have to use a crossover solver here. When, so when price crosses the VWAP, crosses above it, we'll generate a long signal. And when price crosses below it, we'll generate a short signal here. So let's see here. So for example, that would generate a short signal right there. That cross below. And then that cross above would generate a long signal there. Okay. So let's get Bloodhound open. And let's plug in uh, the file name for today's workshop. All right, there we go, the 10th. All right, and to do this, I'm just gonna start working on the logic template. And here, so let's see. All right, we'll just call this a VWAP example. And we're gonna grab a crossover solver. like so and let's give this name here so this is going to be price crossing over the VWAP <clears throat> all right so we got the solver named and next let's start setting the solver up here so all right so for input a uh, we're going to set input a to price there we go that'll be the price data and then down here input b this will be our indicator here so let's replace the sma with the vwap all right there we go vwap and there's no parameters to change on the vwap so makes it easy and there we go so right off the bat we can see we have a bunch of uh, um, signals here uh, to get going with and let's take a look back on yesterday here there we go <clears throat> so a couple of signals yesterday um, not too many at least not on a five minute chart here so let's see let's switch this to a one minute chart let's see if that generates more signals here you know still nothing today so there's the ones from early this morning and there's some well that's from yesterday Going back to yesterday, let's see, a few more. Yeah, and there's a bunch here from yesterday. So. All right, well, that pretty much does it for that question. It's pretty simple. Um, there's the signals above and below. And let's see, since this is going to be... Um, Kind of the second part to this will be tomorrow in tomorrow's Blackbird workshop. Um, you know, I think just for good measure, you know, even though we don't need this for Blackbird, but um, <clears throat> let's throw in a time solver here. And yeah, let's connect that up. And we'll set our solver 
to the US equities regular trading hours like so there we go and that will reduce the signals to just um, to just the trading hours let's back that up a little bit and let's grab an and node there we go we'll plug both the crossover and the time solver into the and node there we go. So now we have some filtered signals here. And so now if we go into the overnight session, the midnight, there we go. Now we got, now all those signals that in the overnight session are gone. So just kind of cleans them up a little bit. All right, well, uh, that pretty much does it. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so we can see now these all these uh, crossover uh, signals here in the early morning uh, are gone now. All right, so let me just scroll back to yesterday. There we go. All right. There's yesterday. So, okay. So that'll do it for that.